Hello, LCP. Woo! Hi. Intern Terry and Office Manager Sarah are taking over. We are in Pastor Liz's office. She's gone. We have taken over. But I did get a picture from the beach. I think she's doing okay. So we'll Good. keep prayers for Pastor Liz and her family. A good time of renewal for them all. So we thought before we got into the details, we just go like, okay, Sarah, this has been a weird week. Totally weird. Yeah. Um, like each day, I'm like, I don't believe what's really going on. No. And waking up wondering yeah. what what's new this morning, you know, right. what's changed now. Mm -hmm. Or like I said to my husband this morning, mm -hmm. so what time will you be home? Or will you just let me know as the day unfolds? Yeah. <laughs> like I don't even know from mm -hmm. the morning to dinner. Yeah. So I, I thought, I don't know about you, but like a little more chocolate and a little more Diet Coke have been in mm -hmm. my um, diet lately. Um, but I really already thought, like I came home from, we came here and worshiped, did uh, worship for you on Sunday. And I'm like, I need to just do something creative. Mm -hmm. So I like, I have a basement of projects, crafts, and I'm like, I'm going to pull one out. And that's what I did for a while on Sunday afternoon, because I just needed some creativity, something to do different. What are you working on? Uh, my daughter wanted to make a t-shirt quilt. So cool. we got the t-shirts and, you know, cutting and whatever. So it's not done, but I might have a few more chances. There you go. So what did you do this weekend to care for you or Monday or whatever? On set, I'm a crocheter, oh. so I finished a shawl on Saturday oh, nice. that I've been working on for many months. Oh. Um, it was supposed to be a wedding shawl, but that it didn't work out for that, but that's okay. fine. And then I started another project mm -hmm. after that. So mm -hmm. I also found that like I usually work out or do some things, and when I my body doesn't move, mm -hmm. I get anxious. Mm -hmm. So, uh my daughter is also kind of like that. So we have been committed that we're going to walk the dog. Mm -hmm. We're going to, my husband and I, um, each day this week have said, how are you going to work, you know, do something. And mm -hmm. it's been nice enough mm -hmm. to get out sometime during the day. Mm -hmm. I don't know about the snow coming, but so mm -hmm. for me, I've been outside trying to find ways to just get some fresh air and move my body. Yeah. What else have you been doing? I've been doing the same way, like just making a point of going out and walking the dogs more and yeah. and taking longer walks yeah. just yeah. you know feeling very thankful I guess that this isn't a climate yeah. issue that we can go out and breathe fresh air and yeah. you know even though we're supposed to stay away from each other yeah. we can go outside and we can yeah. have that as a way of renewal yeah mm -hmm. for sure I was grateful it wasn't like 20 below that too mm -hmm. you know yeah I also found that I've been calling people like mm -hmm. um, my daughter mm -hmm. um, is they're kind of staying in their place. My mom and dad, my in-laws have been away. So mm -hmm. we're doing a lot of like checking in on the phone with people. And I've de I decided to take this as an opportunity to reach out to people that I mm -hmm. haven't heard from in a long time and haven't yeah. connected with and decided, you know what, I, I need that community yeah. More than ever, we need each other. And so this morning I reached out to somebody I haven't mm -hmm. talked to in probably two years. Mm -hmm. And she was like, oh, it's so good to hear from you. So, yeah, yeah. that's important. Yeah, I've even found a friend of mine is a teacher. Mm -hmm. And she teaches, we talked last week, and she teaches uh, near a reservation. And so as oh. schools were closed, I just thought, I'm praying for Vicki, and I'm going to reach out to her and send her just message. I'm like, I'm praying for your kids. Mm -hmm. Like, just, I think, for me to be mindful mm -hmm. about how each decision, which is right decisions mm -hmm. for the whole, but know that there's little pieces that are, mm -hmm. that are causing disruption for a lot of people, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. Well, we don't know what you're doing, but we thought we would just share a little bit about um, how we're trying to cope in um, both recognizing it's anxious mm -hmm. and that that's going to come, um, paying attention to that, but also to say, okay, what can I do? What, what can we be grateful for? Mm -hmm. And with that, that's a perfect lead in. Um, today, Sarah and I have been in the office uh, without Pastor Liz mm -hmm. or anybody else, but we have, food has been coming in. Yes, food, food, lots of food shelf drop-offs today in the entryway. 
and um, that's been great. And there'll be two more times this week that they'll be in the parking lot Thursday evening and um, Friday morning. So mm -hmm. if you're able to or willing to do that, do that. But um, Sarah, we've also been working on a care process today. Mm -hmm. So we're going to keep working with your leadership to make sure that um, all of us, all of the uh, both people that we think firsthand, we want to make sure are, and reach out to, but that um, all of us here at LCP are being continually connecting with each other and whatnot. We'll share more on that mm -hmm. later in the week as those plans get um, stabilized and, and some more information on that. We're going to continue with worship. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Sarah came in and helped with worship as well as Jen and um, Kelly. So mm -hmm. that was great. Um, we will continue to have worship resources for both Sunday and Wednesday. Uh, we're going to communicate. What are we going to do on communication, Sarah? We The, the Wednesday email, e-news will still come out. And um, we also are putting together um, devotionals with um, um, some graphics and some music. Um, we are going to add to the website a yeah. page of um, ministry at home resources that you can use. Um, it'll be for all ages. And you can look to that for ways that you can um, bring church home and interact with each other and have conversation and um, um, time together at home. So um, we're going to use the values, the mission, and the priorities that you establish to mm -hmm. guide these days mm -hmm. ahead. So as we were talking today, that became really clear and we're curating resources as we find them, but um, we're also going to be asking for you to join in creating mm -hmm. those as well. Um, the last thing we just want to let you know is that um, while Pastor Liz and Melissa and I have been connecting over the weekend as the decisions were made about what to do with the closing of the building and worship over the weekend, um, we're continuing to work with the council. Uh, Sarah and I were on a, a synod call today to learn what other ministries are doing in the synod and what the recommendations are from there. So your leadership will continue to be connecting and moving that forward. And as we make decisions um, that come this way, we'll share them with you. Uh, you'll probably get more email communication from us mm -hmm. than, than um, not. If you're not on email or if people aren't on email that you know, please share those mm -hmm. with other people. Mm -hmm. That's really important too. Last thing we want to do is um, share a little bit of scripture. It was interesting to me as uh, we weren't sure if we were going to meet or not meet on Sunday and I was preaching. Uh, one of the things that in my research for the sermon last week was that the, the Bible verse that was stuck in to the Bible verse that we read uh, um, about Jesus being the cornerstone really comes from Psalm 118. And so it brought me into the Psalms, which the Psalms are a great time mm. for good days, bad days, for rejoicing, for lamenting. And so we might get some Psalms in the next weeks ahead. But it's interesting to me that this mm. Psalm, this, this time when Jesus is named as the cornerstone, actually is a, a Psalm that is when people were, the people of Israel were in a time of trouble, when things hadn't gone well, and it was a reminder that God is God and that God's love is bigger than all of this. And God's final word actually takes us um, into the future. And so we can rely on that. We can put our trust in that. So we thought as we end today, we would just leave you with this Psalm, Psalm 118. So we're just going to read it back and forth and just invite you to just let these words um, speak to you today. Psalm 118. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. Let Israel say, his love endures forever. Let the house of Aaron say, his love endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord say, his love endures forever. When hard pressed, I cried to the Lord. He brought me into a spacious place. The Lord is with me. I will not be afraid. What can mere mortals do to me? The Lord is with me. He is my helper. I look in triumph on my enemies. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in humans. 
It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in princes. All the nations surrounded me, but in the name of the Lord, I cut them down. They surrounded me on every side, but in the name of the Lord, I cut them down. They swarmed around me like bees, um, but they were consumed as quickly as burning thorns. In the name of the Lord, I cut them down. I was pushed back and about to fall, but the Lord helped me. The Lord is my strength and my defense. He has become my salvation. Shouts of joy and victory resound in the tents of the righteous. The Lord's right hand has done mighty things. The Lord's right hand is lifted high. The Lord's right hand has done mighty things. I will not die, but live, and will proclaim what the Lord has done. The Lord has chastened me severely, but he has not given me over to death. Open for me the gates of the righteous. I will enter and give thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord through which the righteous may enter. I will give you thanks, for you answered me. You have become my salvation. The stone the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. The Lord has done this, and it is marvelous in our eyes. The Lord has done it this very day. Let us rejoice today and be glad. Lord, save us. Lord, grant us success. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. From the house of the Lord, we bless you. The Lord is God, and he has made his light shine on us. With bows in hand, join in the festal procession up to the horns of the altar. You are my God, and I will praise you. You are my God, and I will exalt you. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. Amen.